In this video, we'll take a look at the right to light tool with inside the Ecotech environment. We'll take a look at extruding solar envelopment to check out the vertical sky co component with inside the model, how to subdivide surfaces and to check out existing and new envelopment. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the right to light tool with inside Ecotech. The right to light tool is really coming from a best practice to how to do urban site planning for daylight and sunlight. But it's kind of a best practice that we can apply and that we can use throughout the world. So what we are looking for in this design project here is that this new envelopment will have some kind of effect on this neighboring building here. And in the same time, we want to get some kind of insight to the heights we want to build this building in. So what we can do is we can go to calculate and and we can calculate the right to light analysis. We can do it in step one by checking the solar envelopment and create a 27% vertical sky angle along a building facade or a 70% of vertical sky angle for a site boundary. And the vertical sky component is also known as the vertical sky daylight factor. So really this is kind of looking at what is shading our building the most, what will shade the context the most, and to create some kind of baseline for that. So the first thing I'll do is that I'll go to the zone management and I'll turn off the new building. Then I did a, a line to along this building facade here and I go to calculate and what I want to do now is create or check out the solar envelopment. So great and because this is above and below starting a start starting point of two meters because that's where we, we kind of are as people and I'm just choosing along a building facade with a vertical sky angle of 27%. Say so okay, just hit okay. And now you see that it's extruding a plane and if I go to visualize, it's a bit more visualized. So if I turn on my new building, I'll see that this part of the building here is inflicting in, in some small manner on this building here. So what we could do is we could go in and we could maybe take out a floor here and uh, put it over here, etc. So get some kind of visual geometry that can help us shape the form of our building. So, okay, now in the next step here, I'm just gonna turn off my new envelopment again, and I'm going to turn off this vertical sky angle here. So what I can do next is that I went in to the 3D editor and I subdivided these facades here by going to modify surface subdivision and rectangular tiles, just to have a bit more measuring point because there is a measuring point in the middle of each of these surfaces here. So what I want to do now is I want to calculate the vertical sky component or vertical sky daylight factor for these facades here. So I go to calculate, I say right to light analysis and I'm choosing step two here, calculate vertical sky components. And before I do that, I need to go here to the vertical sky component and say select objects on, calculate right to light analysis, calculate vertical sky components, Yes, and I'm just performing detailed shading calculation, use fat, fast calculation method, and say, okay, this is stage one. I want to look at the existing conditions as a reference. Say, okay, and just hit okay. And now it's calculating and also giving me a report with how exposed the different surfaces are and stuff like that. And what you'll see in this case here is that we pretty much have the correct amount of light that we want to have here. And if we go down to the display settings and go to, to the sky components, we're also able to look at the daylight factor and uh, daylight levels. But if we look at the sky components here, you'll see that nothing really is below this cutting plane of 27%. So quite okay. Let's see what happens when we turn on the new development here and we want to look at what kind of impact does this new development have on these facades here. Go back to tree editor. These are marked up still. Go to calculate, right to light analysis, say OK and just say use fast calculation method and say OK. Proposed comparison and I can check out that I'm generating a report like that and now it's actually telling me for all the components in the model and I'm able to click the component I actually find it and mark it out and you'll see that only only two objects here are below the the angle of 27 percent and therefore is failing this here. So I can go back to visualize and I can from here go to the display settings and I'm able to control to see before, after and also if I want to see vectors 
or and I could go to properties and I can analyze the data to look at the specific data for uh, and see the, the impact from before and after and the difference between the before I put up my new building. Thank you.